how you can leverage Heroku CI to run your tests faster and save you time, money, and make your development a pleasure. My name is Arthur, and let's go start. As you may know, Heroku is a great platform to develop, de deploy your applications, run them fast, and don't worry about the DevOps stuff a lot. And Heroku last year in 2017, I guess, they just deploy a Heroku CI, so you can run your tests directly on Heroku, and you don't need external provider uh, to run your tests. And I'm going to show you a few tips what you could do to leverage the Heroku CI to save you some time, make it more pleasant to work with Heroku. So yeah, just let's start. Uh, the first thing you will need to start with Heroku CI is just uh, uh, you need a Heroku team, right? So it doesn't work for like personal account. You need to have a team created on Heroku and connected your credit card uh, because Heroku CI bills per seconds of using their dynos. They are using just dynos to run your tests then uh, on the dynos and they charge per seconds. Uh, and I will maybe click a few things in the dashboard to show you how it looks like in my case. So I have a Heroku team. Uh, and here I have apps for my team and here is the pipeline the, like pipeline is a group of applications related to each other so in the pipeline you could have like staging application uh, and production application uh, here you could like create your own pipeline uh, and when you open the pipeline you will see uh, a few columns like I have here application for the staging and I can go to the tab tests and here is the list of CI builds uh, for this application uh, yeah so here is the place you could like enable the Heroku CI uh, but let's jump to the documentation and I will show you what you will need to do uh, with your application uh, in the main repository of the application, you need to create the uh, app.json file. Typically, Heroku uses this file to configure, uh, configure like review apps. For instance, when someone does the pull request, Heroku can automatically create, based on the re recipe in the app.json, the application for the review. So your feature branch can have separate applications on Heroku, so you have isolation between multiple uh, feature branches that your developers are working on. Uh, yeah, and in this app JSON file, you can as well put the uh, you can put the configuration for the Heroku CI. Uh, and sh there should be example. So yeah, in the app JSON file, we would have something like that: uh, the environment, test section, and you can specify here a few things like like test setup and test. I will show you just my my configuration. Uh, so as you can see, I have a section uh, for formation uh, formation in the in the test. And again, there is a test section. And the important thing is size. You can define uh, what type of dyno you will use to run your tests in. Uh, and there are a few types of dynos and with different performance. So as you can see, the standard one uh, X dyno has uh, has half gig of memory. And if you will need like more performant dyno, you can choose a, uh, like different type of dyno and define that in app JSON file. Um, another another thing. Uh, you can here specify a few Heroku uh, add-ons you are using. For instance, you need the Postgres database, so you can list it here. Uh, also, if your application uses multiple languages, like maybe your app is using Ruby, so you can specify that, oh, I want to use build pack for Ruby. Uh, same story for Node.js. For instance, maybe you have part of the front-end application using uh, some stuff related to Node, so you can provide another build pack that will be available for your uh, Heroku CI Dyno provisions for running your tests. Uh, 
yeah and the important part is section scripts you can define here the test setup it's a comment that you can do some additional stuff like oh maybe i need to prepare something like i don't know, install some specific tools before running my tests typically the Heroku is smart enough to know that oh you are using build pack for ruby so we know we need to install ruby gem uh, from your gem file and same story for node so, like the Heroku will run just npm install command uh, yeah so that's that's the like very basic configuration and very nice thing about the Heroku CI is the fact that they are billing per seconds, right? So we could use something they released in 2017. It's still featured in beta called Heroku uh, CI Parallel Test Run. And you will need to just write ticket to support of Heroku and ask them to enable this for your team. And then you will be able to use it. And what it allows? It allows you to run multiple uh, tasks uh, as a part of the single CI build. As you can see on the screenshot, in the preview of your CI build in Heroku dashboard, you will see like tests executed for the very first uh, CI node and for the second, third, and so on and so on. And let's say your tests are running for 10 minutes, right? So if you buy uh, five uh, parallel Heroku dinos, then you could cut down the timing of your tests suite and run it in maybe two minutes. And this is great. And you don't need to worry about like bigger costs of the of the nodes you bought because anyway you are charged by seconds. So no matter if you spend ten minutes on single dino or you spend two minutes in five different dinos, you most likely pay very similar amount in both cases. Uh, so this is this is very nice thing. And I will show you how to configure the Hero CI parallel option. You will need uh, information test section the quantity and here you specify how many parallel CI uh, nodes you will have. Uh, in my case I have for example, two parallel uh, dinos uh, as, a par as a part of my single CI build. Uh, and I'm using, um, to split my test suite across those parallel uh, dinos, I'm using the gem Knapsack Pro. Uh, it's a tool I've built. Uh, and I'm, I'm defining the command that needs to be run on each parallel dino. And this command will know what test should be run on each uh, dino to make uh, the timing of each dyno spent on running tests similar so you get the result about the whole test suite as soon as possible. Uh, you, you need to also specify in environment variables for this Heroku CI build the API token uh, to access the Knapsack Pro API. Uh, you can learn more at the knapsackpro.com and you can watch their uh, videos, uh, how it works and what's what it's all about. Uh, I will also share the link below uh, under this video. Uh, yeah, so this is like very basic configuration for the Heroku CI Parallel, parallel uh, feature. Um, let's maybe jump to, to the dashboard. Uh, yeah, and let's just open one of the CI build so as you can see, I was running here two uh, parallel dinos uh, using standard uh, 1x uh, type of dino. And I can like open the results for this first uh, dino. And I can see some tests just pass with success here. Uh, same story, you can preview what was running on the, on the second dino. Yeah, so Basically, that's the very high-level overview of the Heroku CI. Um, I hope you find this useful. And if, if you have any questions, please leave the comment be down below. Leave a thumb up and subscribe the channel. Uh, I'm going to also leave the link to the explanation, more explanation how you can make your uh, split of your test suite very efficient using Knapsack Pro tool. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.